Got to go to work. Well, my alter ego jinx here was um, created as a result of an idea my wife came up with. Actually, it was an interpretation of some emails that I had received from some folks that had suggested that um, I was a dinosaur and that it was time for me to move on, that, that they had it. And so she brought that to my attention and we discussed it and we embraced that idea. So I thought, well, for the last few weeks of my career, um, I'm going to have my Jinx the dinosaur and embrace it, and he's going everywhere with me, and we're going to have some fun with it. And I've always loved being a cop. I mean, I knew I wanted to be a cop when I was 16, and everything that I did was to move towards that goal. And I wanted to be a Fort Worth police officer because I was born here, I grew up here. Because you know, you just got you got to love chasing the bad guys. If you don't, you're in the wrong business. You've got to love the chase, the hunt, the being out on the streets, and and uh, talking to people and and fooling with it. There's some people just don't like that. I mean, I I really do feel that uh, people that are as lucky as I am to to just fit into this subculture, if you can't beat the career, it's every every part of society you come in contact with. The good, the bad, and you know, at the end of the day, you go, oh, well, I had a pretty good day, you know, I, I made, I did this, I did that. You know, if you want to boil it down, you can say, well, yeah, I made a difference, but we really don't say we made a difference. We just say, hey, we had fun today, we had a good day. Nobody got hurt, and uh, everything was good. So what does strikes mean? That means 30 years, one strike for each five years. Oh, wow. And that is Sergeant, see, that's Sergeant. Since he's my alter ego, see, I got Sergeant Strike. <laughs> and then Gold Badge, there's Gold Badge. And then there's all his, there's his gun, shotgun. That's cool. Handgun, <laughs> baton, radio, handgun. Well, the new ones, you know, there's three generations working at the police department. The Baby Boomers, the Gen Xers, and the Y generation, the Millennials. And from my generation to the Y generation, were my generation was analog. Their generation is digital. They, the first thing that they knew, the first communications device they knew was some sort of handheld electronic device. And my generation didn't have anything of the sort. I mean, we, we played records and eight track tapes and talked on a, on a rotary dial phone at mom and dad's house. That's how we communicated. Or we just went to the people that we wanted to talk to and talk to them face to face. Most of them, they're, they're very well trained in all the technology. I mean, when our officers come out of the police academy, they are very well trained. They know computer systems, they, they can write, they can type. Uh, it's amazing to me. So I always just tell them, look, people like me need people like you because you're on the cutting edge of technology and I'm probably not going to learn it in my lifetime. But regarding our job, people like you need people like me because I've been doing this a long time. So together we make a, we can make a really good team if we can communicate. Oh, yeah. My wife. I went, I went to that side and I went over to that side. There's no thoroughness. There's, there's, no, system, there's no system. But well, we did check the back. That's why there's one person there. Yeah. So you did the whole car. Everybody did the whole car, but you didn't check the back. Yeah. Poor guy. Come on, partner. Let's roll. Off to the next. Hey, let my crime busting partner. He's all equipped. He's got his own stuff. So. Oh, okay. He's got his own badge, his own gun, shotgun. He goes everywhere with him. You know, old dinosaur goes with the old dinosaur car. You know what I mean? You stay around here? Um, I work here. On and off? Yeah, I work here. You work here? Oh, really? I mean, how many dinosaurs have their own Facebook page, really? Cops with a crime buster to be put to bed. No.
the other day. Okay, anybody wonders who's in charge? There we go. That's what's up.